Yeah, today I recently made a video and the video was saying tag your managers if you want to be successful. I think you do still remember it's now I think one week ago, probably that. But now today, this video, I want the managers to tag the bosses. Um, some of the reasons why I do these videos, me, um, many people consult me about good farming. Many people are consulting me about uh, farming, how to start farming and so on. If it's not me to tell you the challenges that I get from your farms, the challenges that my other managers are getting, you know, when you put me on your farm to help you supervise, it means that I'm part of that farm. But basically, these are some of the challenges I have met on your farms. I think now all the bosses are being tagged. Um, one of the reasons uh, why some farms are really uh, disturbing you or some farms are really failing uh, is the approach. What am I trying to mean? Which approach is the approach how you're handling your workers? Your workers, by the way, there is one of the farms that I recently visited. Uh, the farm was moving at a high rate. And, you know, the multiplication of the animal was there. But the challenge of that farm, really, it is about the manager. The manager was given an authority. But after being given an authority, and they were given a trust, that manager really wanted his authority and he wanted his job. He knew what to do. But because of the responsibility growing up, they decided to bring in another person that would handle goats in particular. Uh, that farm that the manager was, uh, they introduced the vet to the manager. But the manager had his games that he wanted to play. And of which he was suppressing the vet because the vet was asked the, uh, was being asked for the reports, the death reports, was being asked for, uh, you know, um, uh, birth records. But because the manager had conflict with the worker, with the vet, the vet, the vet couldn't actually give the actual number of animals, the actual mortalities. But because the manager never wanted the vet to dominate or the boss to like him, he was trying to suppress him. Things could happen and say, don't report. Then when the other guy is given another task, he does not report very, very well. What am I trying to bring up in this? I'm giving you this scenario. The farm was collapsing by the time I went in. Why was it collapsing? It's because of the management. The boss never wanted to give this other vet time to listen to him and he thought that if he breaks those two people the vet and the manager is going to benefit because there will not be colliding sorry there will not be connection of stealing his animals but these people what happened they were trying to fight and make sure that everyone makes a mistake such that the boss can get hurt and you know chases the other but in actual senses, the farm lost over 400 goats. Me as the top supervisor, I was told everything is okay. Uh, the people, um, the owners, they were also being told that everything is okay. But doing the assessment after the vet left, it shows that we lost over 400 goats. Why? Because those two were colliding all the time. Those two were fighting each other. They were trying to make sure that mistakes are there and the bosses can do it. So my dear bosses, I want you to understand one thing or two. This is your business. There is no any success in this business when your workers are not working together. Try all your best to make sure that these workers connect. Try to make sure these people, they should love each other there you're going to be a very good successful farmer. That is the piece of advice I can tell you. 
the farmer was expecting to have over 1,500 goats. Just imagine I reached there when they only had over 800 goats. The kids were dying uh, because the vet would instruct, would, would request the manager to bring the drugs, but intentionally the manager fails to bring it. He used to ask for the Akari side. Can you imagine a very good prominent farm reaching at a point and they take over a month or two months without spraying the animals? The bosses don't know, but because the manager wants this other guy to make a mistake, he asks for the Akari side and they are not provided. The end point goes back to who? To the owner. So my dear owners, this is how Hamis manages his farm. The way I manage my farm, I have a top manager and have the assistant. Those two people, they are the people that I should grill. I should ask a lot of things. There is no way how I can go on ground and find a house that then I bring the owner of the house. Because the bosses are there. Those are the people that I should carry and bring them to the site to ask them what is happening with this house. Then that person also knows who to, to handle and how to handle that kind of person. So that system has really, really helped me. He has pulled me off that burden of every person calling you. But you find a, a man, you find a farm owner being called by a hard, a flock manager, who is the hard's man, is being called by the assistant, is being called even by the manager himself. We have a lot of stress. We have a lot of pressure. We, we like most of us, we receive a lot of calls from all over the world. We are already frustrated with calls. Just imagine every person calling you and telling your story. Just imagine somebody is calling me and is telling me, uh, sir, I have diarrhea in my house. It is my farm. It helps me, but it's not my responsibility. So when you want to be successful in farming, make sure that you build a strong bond, build a relationship between your workers. Don't use languages that will divide them but use the language that will put them together as workers or as your workmates. So, my dear people, my, uh, the farm owners and the managers, this is a story for you. Try your best. Most of the farms have really completely failed just because of those stories. They have completely collapsed just because of those stories. Do you know you can hate farming just because of those minor things? You've done a good breed, You've done a very good feeding, you have failed to do the management. Management is a key and it is human resource. Know how to handle people. Don't overreact. Losing 20 or 30 goats, it is big, but it's not bigger than losing 1,000. You get it? If you lose those goats, don't harass someone. Find out what is the cause and what is the solution. Let your worker tell you, I have lost. When he has... Um, uh, the cause of that and then the solution to that so my dear farmers and the managers and the boss owner the owners that is what i can advise you never allow divide and rule and you think you can be successful let me just wish you the best that is the peace of mind that i would really give to you it's a very good experience and what i'm telling you it is practical and true that is what is happening in the farms. Let me just wish you the best and bye for now.